Welcome to CMS 272, Advanced Visual Basic. Um, we're going to have a brief orientation in this video of how our course is set up and um, some of the syllabus policies. To start off with, you'll go into Blackboard and be able to access your course. And within there, you'll find announcements. And there will be a weekly announcement regarding what it is that you'll be learning uh, and other pertinent information to the course. I did also post additional announcements um, when materials have been graded. Therefore, you don't have to constantly be checking the Grade Center um, to see if that has happened. In Blackboard, there's also the ability to have announcements emailed to you, and I have noticed that many students do so, and it actually rings their smartphones. So you can be as connected or disconnected as you like, as far as that's concerned. All right, on to the syllabus. We have a syllabus tab within our course. And it lists out the basic course information, including the textbook. Um, we're using Visual Basic 2010 for our course. Um, however, um, you're more than welcome to use the 2012 version. Um, there were not textbooks available to meet this. Uh, the differences are pretty minimal, um, so making that conversion certainly should not be any issues. Um, the book that we're using is more of a resource manual um, than textbook in its setup. Um, so it doesn't read like a standard text. However, it has some great information within. My contact information is uh, located in the syllabus. When communicating with me, um, email is probably the easiest method for um, personal or grade related questions and if you have a content related question um, I strongly encourage you to use a peer help forum. This simulates raising hands within class and it allows everybody to um, experience or enjoy the answers to questions. And of course I encourage you to answer the questions of your peers. Um, if anything's stated incorrect I will politely go in and uh, state what is correct um, for the answer. Um, when emailing me, please make sure you put the course and subject in the subject line. That helps me um, answer your question and also um, identify that it's not a spam message. Um, furthermore, when you are emailing with questions, um, please be very specific. Um, for example, um, if there's a, a, a question about a grade, please list out the column or actually row within the grade center that you're referring to. Saying the last homework assignment um, can be a little confusing to me as I teach many classes. Our course objectives are really to create a program from start to finish. We go through and we do the learning units and then we have a very large application at the end. I'm hoping that this is more of a capstone for programming for you where you have something that you can be proud of and that you can show potential employers. Um, the program will include not only the design, the application itself, um, but setup files, help files, documentation, so it'll have um, quite a bit in there um, and prove that you do have the abilities to work as a Visual Basic programmer. Looking at our assignments and point values. Um, each week we have an application that we create. It's more of like a case study. I give you a scenario and ask you to write an application for it. Um, we have research or critical thinking questions and that's to encourage discussion um, about the topic of the course um, and also prove that you're learning the material. The large project at the end um, that's in there and then a final exam. Um, assignments, it's expected that they do not have any debug errors, meaning that they actually can be run. If not, I certainly hope that you work through those errors before submitting it. Um, and they are due on their due date. Um, this is not necessarily to be a thorn in your side, it's to keep you moving with the material at a reasonable rate. Um, I have broken the material down into units in bite-sized chunks for each week. Um, that enable you to learn at a, at a decent rate and meet the objectives of the course. Um, if you do need to withdraw from the class, you're able to see the registrar to do so, um, but please do contact me in advance. I, 
I hate to see a student just drop out and not know why. Um, incompletes, well, I don't give incompletes in this course, um, and that's just an overall policy that I follow. Um, you're encouraged to work together. I found that students that do work in this class um, together certainly are more successful. Now, turning in the same application, uh, I, start, I would start considering cheating unless we talked in advance about it. Um, so make sure that you are creating your own code, um, but learning together and expressing what you've learned to each other um, only helps the process. So I, I do encourage that. Um, attendance. Attendance is taken by you submitting your critical thinking questions. I don't have any minimum number of days per week that you must attend, but you're encouraged to log in daily um, to be aware of what's going on with the course. Um, software. There's a couple pieces of software available um, for the course. We use Microsoft Access as our database, um, as we do write some database applications, and then Visual Studio. Um, 2010 and 2012 editions are available. I'll ensure that you are uploaded to um, the Microsoft Academic Alliance so you have access to download and install these files. Um, if there's any changes needed to the syllabus, um, I certainly will put it to a vote among the class members to see um, if you agree with the change or not. Our course schedule is listed. And our courses are, or our weeks are set up where Saturday is the beginning of the week, since that's the first day of the semester. Um, on Tuesdays, critical thinking questions are due, and that's so I can get the attendance records completed. And then Friday, all materials are due. Everything is due by 11.59 p.m. on their stated due date. If we go into learning units, we can see how a, a standard week is set up. So our first week is Review of Programming Basics. Click on that link. I give you an overview of the um, topic. The items that are in a different color here are links to external resources. So you can um, not only read what I have, but additional information. Most units have a, a very brief PowerPoint presentation about the materials. Um, I'll point you to where you should be reading within the text. And then I um, provide some resources that are usually YouTube videos. Um, these are not created by me. They're, through, they're by various people who have posted videos. So you'll notice um, differences in their programming styles. And there's even a few who they don't talk during. They comment about their code and they write their code in front of you. Um, however, some of them... Um, have been very valuable in what they display. Um, so there's a variety of resources available. The critical thinking question will be listed. You can click right on that link and it'll take you right to the discussion board. Or you can click on the discussion board link and that'll take you there as well. There's a programming assignment and I give you the information on what you should be programming. And to submit the assignment, you click on the header and it takes you to a Dropbox. So you scroll down, you browse for your file, and you submit. Um, please do not put anything in these text boxes, um, as I do not read them. I, the way I download the files just zips what you submitted and brings that onto my computer for grading. Um, so if you do need to send me a message, make sure you do so through the Peer Help Forum or through email. And then at the bottom, I've got some demonstrations. So these are YouTube videos that I have created. Um, they are sequential in nature, so you'll need to follow them every unit. So for example, the first one is setup of our demonstration application. And all that is is creating the forms and just the basic setup of our app. From there on out, I go through and program based on our topic for that week. So for our first one, it's arrays, loops, and decisions. Next week, it'll be based on, um, I believe, class objects and direct link libraries. So it does build on itself. So trying to start in on these during week five would be an incredible challenge because you'd be missing many of the pieces. 
Um, but I do hope that these are of great value to your learning. All right, all grades for this course are in um, under grades. And then the instructor contact information. In there, you can find out um, what my office hours are and telephone number and all that information that's also on the syllabus. Um, if you're having troubles in the course, please do stop by my office. Um, contact me. Don't just get behind um, because it is incredibly challenging to get caught up within a programming class. Um, also, the, be very cautious of procrastination. Waiting to the last day of the week to start learning the material and programming an assignment um, it quite commonly leads to a the failure in the course. Um, so please do make sure that you work ahead and are very diligent in your studies. Um, well, once again, welcome everybody, and I certainly hope that you enjoy Advanced Visual Basic.